Top 12 Biggest Myths About Weight Loss, Part 2 7. Fat Makes You Fat Fat provides around 9 calories per gram, compared with only 4 calories per gram of carbs or protein. Fat is very calorie-dense and commonplace in junk foods. Yet, as long as your calorie intake is within a healthy range, fat does not make you fat. Additionally, diets that are high in fat but low in carbs have been shown to cause weight loss in numerous studies. While packing your diet with unhealthy, high-calorie junk foods laden with fat will definitely make you fat, this macronutrient is not the sole culprit. In fact, your body needs healthy fats to function properly. Summary Fat has often been blamed for the obesity epidemic. While it contributes to your total calorie intake, fat alone does not cause weight gain. 8. Eating breakfast is necessary to lose weight. Studies show that breakfast skippers tend to weigh more than breakfast eaters. However, this is probably because people who eat breakfast are more likely to have other healthy lifestyle habits. In fact, a four-month study in 309 adults compared breakfast habits and found no effect on weight whether the participants ate or skipped breakfast. It's also a myth that breakfast boosts metabolism and that eating multiple small meals makes you burn more calories throughout the day. It's best to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. Eat breakfast if you want to, but don't expect it to have a major effect on your weight. Summary while it's true that breakfast skippers tend to weigh more than breakfast eaters, controlled studies show that whether you eat or skip breakfast doesn't matter for weight loss. 9. Fast food is always fattening Not all fast food is unhealthy. Because of people's increased health consciousness, many fast food chains have started offering healthier options. Some, such as Chipotle, even focus exclusively on serving healthy foods. It's possible to get something relatively healthy at most restaurants. Most cheap fast food restaurants often provide healthier alternatives to their main offerings. These foods may not satisfy the demands of every health conscious individual, but they're still a decent choice if you don't have the time or energy to cook a healthy meal. Summary Fast food does not have to be unhealthy or fattening. Most fast food chains offer some healthier alternatives to their main offerings. 10. Weight Loss Diets Work The weight loss industry wants you to believe that diets work. However, studies show that dieting rarely works in the long term. Notably, 85% of dieters end up gaining the weight back within a year. Additionally, studies indicate that people who diet are most likely to gain weight in the future. Thus, dieting is a consistent predictor of future weight gain, not loss. The truth is that you probably shouldn't approach weight loss with a dieting mindset. Instead, make it a goal to change your lifestyle permanently and become a healthier, happier, and fitter person. If you manage to increase your activity levels, eat healthier, and sleep better, you should lose weight as a natural side effect. Dieting probably won't work in the long term. Summary Despite what the weight loss industry would have you believe, dieting usually doesn't work. It's better to change your lifestyle than to hop from diet to diet in the hope of losing weight. 11. People with obesity are unhealthy and thin people are healthy. It's true that obesity increases your risk of several chronic illnesses, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers. However, plenty of people with obesity are metabolically healthy, and plenty of thin people have these same chronic diseases. It seems to matter where your fat builds up. If you have a lot of fat in your abdominal area, you're at a greater risk of metabolic disease. Summary Obesity is linked to several chronic diseases, such as type 2 diabetes. However, many people with obesity are metabolically healthy, while many thin people are not. 12. Diet foods can help you lose weight. A lot of junk food is marketed as healthy. Examples include low-fat, fat-free, and processed gluten-free foods, as well as high-sugar beverages. You should be skeptical of any health claims on food packaging, especially on processed items. These labels usually exist to deceive, not inform. 
some junk food marketers will encourage you to buy their fattening junk food. In fact, if the packaging of a food tells you that it's healthy, there's a chance it's the exact opposite. Summary Oftentimes, products marketed as diet foods are junk foods in disguise, as they're heavily processed and may harbor hidden ingredients. The bottom line if you're trying to lose weight, you may have heard a lot of the same myths. You may have even believed some of them, as they're hard to avoid in Western culture. Notably, most of these myths are false. Instead, the relationship between food, your body, and your weight is very complex. If you're interested in weight loss, try learning about evidence-based changes you can make to your diet and lifestyle. What do you think? Let us know what you think below. We picked linked items based on the quality of products, and lists the pros and cons of each to help you determine which will work best for you. We partner with some of the companies that sell these products and our partners may receive a portion of revenues if you make a purchase using the links below description.